How long have you been a member of this church? Um, I was five years old when we started thinking. And, I and am now I'm going to be 24 on Sunday. You got involved because of your parents? Say it again. How did you get involved? Your parents? Yeah, I've been, I've been attending West Pro Baptist Church since I was born. Okay. Just like all the rest of my siblings. I, there's 11 kids. My parents have 11 kids. And where are you in the birth order? Uh, what kind of, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Where are you in the birth order? I'm third. I'm the oldest girl. And when you were five years old, were you holding signs? Yeah. And I said, when I turn six, I'm going to go to every single picket. But I couldn't go <laughs> um, And so when you're five, it's really simple. You know, you learn as you go. You, see, you learn these words. You read the words in the scripture. You see what God requires of you. And you have to make a decision. Are you going to do what God requires of you? Are you going to obey him and incur his blessings? Or are you going to say, this is too hard for me. I can't take this. Everyone hates us. Throw up your hands say, and say, and just admit. I want the praise of men more than I want the praise of God. Are you going to bring someday, will you bring your children to these pickets? If I ever get married and have kids, and if I, you know, I, I don't ever foresee myself getting married and therefore not having kids. Because God has a standard, and that standard is God hates fornicators, whoremongers, and adulterers. He says God will damn and hell forever. So if I don't get married, I'm gonna be a virgin for the rest of my life, and I am just good with that because I know that I have. A Doesn't duty. God also say that you should be fruitful and multiply? In the mar in marriage. If I'm not married, that's what I'm not gonna do it. And here's the thing: there is not a single person on the landscape of this generation who has a clue what God requires of them and doesn't give one care about obeying the standards of God. And that is the, and I'm not going to be, it says, it says, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So I'm not going to put myself in a position where I... understand right. your disposition huh? about not wanting to get married because you don't feel like there's anybody who can share and your conviction. But not just that. It's also because I know that there's a lot of stuff to be done. And you, you, you really feel I like this... I'm thankful that I have the, uh, the ability and the resources to do that. Do you okay. really feel this is the best way to serve God? Yeah, this is the only way to serve God. Get you to it's not your job to try to convert people. It's not what it's about. It's about publishing his words and how it lands in the hearts of men is his prerogative, not yours.